Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths, I'm Minty, and this is episode 86 of the Battleship Brawl Season 5 Tournament. In this episode, we've got the Effingham by Carnival doing its final battle against the Mangatout by Hibachi. Let's go ahead and get this battle underway. And we'll see how this goes, how each ship does. Megatow taking a couple of hits there. Ooh, it even lost lost a gun on this um, Hello explosion to the face. <laughs> lost a gun on this turret here. And some barrel damage on a previous one. But the Effingham is uh, taking more damage in total. So far. Effingham down to 90%. Oh, that blew a turret off, that's why. Yeah, that's a turret cap that just fell off. And then this turret was disabled. That's, uh... This one looks disabled, too. That turret's just out of... I think it, that one might just be out of its firing arc, actually. Yeah, there's no way it could fire from there. It could be disabled as well, but can't tell. For sure. Oh. Wow, did those shots somehow... Did that, that disable this gun somehow? Well, okay. Those those shots made more sense in... Uh, there it is. For a second there, I was like, how did those shots over here in the superstructure disable that turret? But, uh... Yeah, no, that that makes more sense. And with that, I think the, I think the Effingham has been disarmed. Oh, it's just about to ram. Oh, just barely avoided that collision. I mean, this is... Like, this is a great position to be in against the main town. Oh, wait, nope, this gun is still functional. I forgot it was just out of its firing arc. So the, uh... The Effingham isn't completely defanged yet, but... just that one gun. Oh, this one in the front is aiming, but I don't think it has any actual functional barrels to fire with, so... Yeah. Mangatow's down to 93.9%. It's also used up all of its materials, though. So. Ooh, and that gun just took a direct hit and got disabled. And that gun just took a direct hit, but uh, managed to survive. Because it was a direct hit to the top. Didn't get as much penetration. Now this gun got back into its firing arc, and it's out of it again. And it's in it again. It's actually gonna get the fire. Yep, it got the fire. Woo! <laughs> and it missed. <laughs> oh, this, this gun is disabled now. The Effingham has no weapons remaining. That is unfortunate. As I mentioned before, this is its final battle. It will be retiring after this, so make sure you head on over to the Discord and cast your vote. Because as usual, the uh, the poll should be alive before our, this, this video is. So you need to vote for it. That way it gets its uh, appropriate place in the Grand Finals. We don't get nearly enough votes. Like, it's a big deal, people. It's a huge part of these ship scores and how they can, uh... Whether they can advance or they get, you know, sent home. Need to take part. Yeah. 
Effingham is still repairing away here. But despite that, it, I do believe it is losing HP. Like the Mangatout is doing more damage than it's repairing by a small amount. And the Effingham will eventually run out of materials and then that'll go away. him is just it's like I can't fight back but I also refuse to die <laughs> That hit just blow off some propellers. Blew off one, maybe. Ah, uh, maybe a couple, but I don't know. It just—it looked like the ship slowed down significantly when it took that hit. But maybe it was just uh, trick of the eyes. I'm not sure. chunk of the stern just got blown off with uh you know like all of the propellers almost it's not all of them all of them there's still some somewhere apparently because it's all oh, on the underside here because the effingham is still moving but uh that has certainly caused the effingham to have some flotation issues and a good chunk of uh, HP to fall off. It would be kind of funny if just like all of the blocks around this heavy armor deck plating got destroyed and then the deck plating just fell off. But was still was still pretty much totally intact. Uh, well, <laughs> well, that's not gonna happen. The Effingham can afford to go much lower in the water without getting an 80% sinking despawn. But right now the question is, can the Mangatout sink the Effingham in the next seven, two and a half minutes? close if it does happen it'll be close Ooh, one of the guns just fired the effingham which, which gun was that i don't see any functional i mean it, it, i saw I, did it i think it may have just shot it yeah it just shot itself <laughs> Maybe not. I guess that one barrel is still functional. It was, it was made functional by repairs. Or 
something. Maybe the, uh, maybe, like, the AI for that gun was destroyed and that got fixed. And now it's firing again. Got a minute and 15 seconds left. And 2% health of the, uh, Mangatow's gotta get through. If it wants to claim a total victory here. Grant, hitting a turret. Well, that will definitely do it. <laughs> That'll do it. Blowing off a turret <laughs> will cause the HP loss needed. All right, so that's going to be the end of round one. So that'll be a 90.6 for the Mangatout in round one. Very close call there. It almost didn't get the kill off. It almost ran out of time. But it got there in the end. Now we'll go to round two, see if the, uh, the Effingham's weapons can survive a little bit better. Man, they did not do a good job of that in round one. They all got blown up in like the first three or four minutes, basically. Well, that's gonna be a painful hit. Or not, that completely missed. I thought it was going to hit the side, but it fell short. Ooh, that turret taking a hit there. I think it actually hit the superstructure, and then the explosion spread to it, but... You know, nothing too bad. Are both of these front cannons disabled already? Well, that one just fell off, so the answer to that the question for that one is yes. But yeah, this one is just not aiming now. When it clearly has a, it clearly has a shot on the opponent, or had anyway. Now it might be a little iffy, but it definitely did when I first sighted that. Oh, and it's fighting again. So it may have been AI damage, or maybe local weapon controller. That has been fixed, and now the gun is functional again. This gun is not coming back. It, well, well yeah, it fell completely off. It had the floor blown out from underneath it. Mangatout has lost a lot of guns this time. Oh, and that one just took a pretty hefty shot. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it was already disabled, I think, but now it's, uh, pretty much destroyed. Looks like this back turret back here, this single gun, is the only one still functional on Mangatout. Mangatat's down to 78.9 already and out of materials, so cannot do any more repairs. Oof, taking some direct hits to the side there. Big ol' holes blown up, open in this side of the hull. But with this thing basically being, you know, a giant, uh, what are they called? Catamarans? Of two regular hold ships strapped together by this stuff in the middle, it's really not going to sink. However, if this stuff in the middle gets blown up, it will, you know, break in half. So this stuff down here has actually already been hit. So, ooh, see, all that needs to break are, like, these beams right along the side. And this ship will snap in half. And most likely, immediately, you know, despawn. kind of a weak point in the center here. I've mentioned it pretty much every time the Mangatout's been on camera. Um, it's not the easiest spot to hit. So 
it is somewhat safe. It's just if if an enemy were to happen to aim all of its main guns toward like one side of it, there's a very good chance that it would break the ship in half. But ooh, kind of like this. <laughs> okay, see, but it, if, if something like that were to happen, but be more like focused rather than spread out a little like that was, it, it could be uh, it could be nasty. Like imagine, imagine if like something like the Prince of Persia or the uh, um, the Polaris fired its high explosive mortars and they all happened to fall down and land right in here. Uh oh, Effingham's gaining DQ time, it's too far away. <laughs> the multi ricochet there on that shell. Did you guys see that? It basically ponged back and forth between the double hull here. Effingham, you need to turn. Are you even trying? Did your rudders get damaged? Can you not turn? No, you're turning. Just uh, not enough. Oh, but saved by the enemy becoming too damaged. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be uh, 92.6 for the Effingham in round two. All right, so here we go to round three. It's a one-to-one -one battle so far. With, I think, very, yeah, very close scores. So, depending on how round three goes, these two ships might have a very even scoring in this round, in this uh, match. Why, why is my camera con- there we go. All right, in round three underway. Yeah, the, er, so it was still registering my alt key being pressed and making the camera descend, even though I wasn't pressing it. Just from the depth of things. An initial bombardment from the Effingham misses. Same with the Mangatav shots. There might have been, there was a clipping hit, it looked, seems like. Barely any damage and oh Effingham taking some hits. This front turret losing a barrel already. Oh, it's about to lose another one. <laughs> or, you know, an entire turret. Oh that was some serious slowdown there. Did uh I think the Mangatown might have just taken some nasty hits too. This upper gun just got disabled, but it couldn't really shoot at the opponent anyway, so it has a it has a habit of being pulled out of its uh, firing arc. Ooh, that's gonna be hitting some guns. <laughs> Did those che guns get off a cheeky final shot like as they were exploding? Before, like, before the game went, okay, you no longer function. <laughs> it's kind of funny that the bar guns on the Mangatown are the ones that have been uh, destroyed so far. All of the near ones are still functioning pretty much perfectly. And this one has some minor barrel damage, and that's about it. Oh, 
all those ricochets. <laughs> oh, well, so much for these guns being in pristine condition. They are very much not so anymore. <laughs> This one's disabled, this one's disabled. But the, the forward most gun is still fine. Eh. Well, not anymore. It lost a barrel. Let's check on the Effingham, which is still at 89.7% health. Well, the Manga Tout's at 73. has one, one or two functioning barrels on this turret, three on that one, ooh, that turret's been popped, and then all eight on the rear guns. Still just fine. Looks like only this rear turret is able to fight right now. This one's still functional, but it can't it doesn't have the firing arc to shoot that direction. Yeah, it looks like the Mangatow's gonna get sunk again here in round three. I mean it's not entirely over just yet. But definitely not looking good for the Mega Tower right now. It's out down to 56.6 percent so it is about to be sunk or destroyed anyway so yeah I just want to say again to uh, remind everybody my discord is down in the description so you can uh, click that link to hop on over to the server and then the, the uh, there is a channel tournament tournament polls where the vote will be up for the Effingham by the time this goes live, so make sure you go ahead and cast your vote. Alright, and that's going to be the end of this round. A 90.4 for the Effingham. So, like I said, very close scores. 192.6 and 190.6. Only two points of difference in this fight. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the battlefield.